chicken cut. Okay, here we are again, making video number two of the airplane. Last time it was cold out. Now it's about 95 degrees in Atlanta. And uh, I'm going to show you some of the aspects here, some of the things I've incorporated into YX number 82. And uh, it's got 33 hours on it now. And everything's running pretty good. Uh, we'll come into the cockpit here in a little bit. Let's just walk around the airplane and uh, take a look at some things uh, that I did when I built it. Here's the Avio flashes. They were on the first video. Um, this is actually an RV part, uh, an extension, wingtip extension, fiberglass. Goes in there real nice. Another thing I did was incorporate uh, filling in the the flush rivets with um, fiberglass filler, so I made it for a nice smooth leading edge. Um, got the uh, large knack events, which do really good in the south here on a hot day. Um, nothing real unusual up front here, other than a couple little things here in the fuel latch. I incorporated what's called a Hartwell latch, and it's uh, just a little quick release. We're going to have to mess with uh, uh, screws or quarter turn fasteners. It's working pretty good. And uh, another thing I did was instead of to find a way to tie the cowling together with the front pin here, I just have a little long and whenever I secure these two screws here, I uh, just leave the excess length um, right there in uh, behind the fiberglass. So far it's not wearing or anything, it's kind of clean. Um, nothing unusual here. Let's see. Let's continue on around. Just came down from 8,500 feet where it's 62 degrees. Down here it's 94. Let's get a look at this light. smooth uh, fiberglass work there. Not all completely done by myself. My antenna is a Dorn and Margolin C170 I think it was. It's working real good. And then right next to that is the Diamond uh, Outside Air Temperature Pro. which works really good. Those, both of them are offset from the center line there because of uh, some issues with the uh, the spline going down the back and there's my pitot tube this is something that uh, I did as a little mod here this tube is actually removable there's a phenolic block in there and it uh, slides in and out so I can um, take it in and out for air shows and uh, it's been very accurate I think it's within two miles an hour of of actual true airspeed. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, nothing really unusual back here on the tail other than what I trimmed on the tail wheel. Plans call for the trail to come out to about here. And even though I've had some fairly smooth landings, I've got about 50 landings now. After my first three, I was jamming it up here. And also you'll get some contact down here uh, if you don't clear that. So I would suggest taking a lot of material off of there because that's a part that you don't want to make again, um, possibly. I sure don't. I've got some holes here for a trim tab. Still messing around with uh, that. I found with about a 20 degree bend on the factory trim tab that it uh, makes for uh, uh, neutral slip skid ball at cruise flight. Cruise flight I'm seeing about 145 miles an hour on uh, slow speed cruise, low end of the uh, cruise RPM range and I'm seeing about 165 true up at the high end. I could probably hit the factory stated 170 um, at really near full throttle. So that's up at 8,500. Let's take a look inside the panel, inside the interior here. Okay, this is the panel we discussed in the last video a while back. I've just got the placards on it. 
um, battery master, avionics master, circuit breakers, um, 35 amp, 10 amp respectively, Becker Com, ACS starter, low voltage light for the uh, uh, alternator if it goes out. Dynan's working real good. You can see all the uh, temperatures just after landing. Garmin 495. Becker transponder. And in the Becker com is a built-in intercom, which does not have voice activation. That'd be nice, but at least it was incorporated. My Hobbs meter says zero still, because I'm still hooking that to the pressure switch. Um, one thing I did here, let's take a look. Let's see my fuel valve. I've got some wires hanging here. I'll put a tab on that, showing fuel is off. If you move it up here, there's fuel is on. So if it's off, it's very visible. And by the way, the engine will only run about two seconds with the fuel valve off. So it's not like you're going to taxi to the end of the runway with it off and take off and have the engine quit from fuel starvation. You'll know it before that. Sonic's leather interior is real nice. Booster seat, flight grip, uh, brand sticks with uh, push to talk. Sonic's um, baggage area there. And there's a 406 ELT under there. And back there's the Dynan compass module. It's hard to see because of the light. Anyway, I think that's about it. I um, hope to have it at Oshkosh this year. Uh, it's flying pretty good. You know, I've got seven more hours till phase one is done, so I'm going to go up and cool off some more. Till next time.